Good afternoon, my fellow human beings. Thank you much for being here. I'm going. I'm keeping on reading from Breaking the Cy uh, Cycle, the lesson 1.9, uh, which is called Comparison, Typical Behavioral Traits of the True and False Self, Signs of Who Controls Your Life. Okay? So, skipping the first few paragraphs. Background Many philosophers and everyday people purpose that we each have a self. There has been rich and raucous debate across the centuries and cultures about what that is. After 16 years of professional study, I propose that there are two types of self which regulate your personality and behaviors every day. If your childhood nurturing is holistically healthy enough, we seem to automatically develop a nurturing sub-self which acts like a naturally talented orchestra, leader, athletic coach or church person. This sub-self has clear, realistic, wide-angle, long-range vision. She consistently makes healthy, balanced, minor and major decisions based on the dynamic input of our five or six senses and vocal subselves. In this case, our evolving brain and body is directly and coordinated each moment by this highly skilled true self, capital S. When that happens, kids and adults report feeling a miss of grounded, calm, purposeful, focused, optimistic, strong, up, content, alert, aware, alive, resilient, centered, Secure, potent, and compassionate. Remember the last time you felt a blend of this? Yes, I do this every day, so I feel like this every day, and I'm very happy. Okay. Enter the protective false self. But if very young kids experience significant lack of holistic nurturing, their personality brains seem to develop a different kind of self, a small L. Their true self seems overwhelmed or blocked from developing and directing their actions by other well-meaning but limited impulsive inner kids and guardians, personality sub-selves who want to run the show. When inner kids and guardians distress and disable the, res the resident true self, they form a false self. False self-dominance is normal, widespread and prom promotes survival versus growth. It is like a distrustful, disgruntled violinist, tuba player and lead tenor pushing their talented conductor off the podium and fighting over who will lead the orchestra. False self-dominance promotes up to five more psychological rules. People who have used to being controlled by a false self experience that as normal. The idea that there is another sub-self in them that is, if allowed to, to, can consistently make wiser, healthier life decisions is unbelievable. Do you relate? Yes, I do. We kids and adults range between a little wounded to very wounded, depending on a early childhood dependent, neglect and abuse trauma, b how many sub-subs are being to control us and c how often they disable our true self. Note, a common first reaction to personality sub-subs is anxiety about being crazy or having a multiple personality. Since, in, since 1980, psychiatrists and sociologists have guessed estimated that about 5% of Americans seem to have extreme personality fragmented. That is called multiple personality disorder, MPD, and is now dubbed dissociative identity disorder, DID, by psychiatrists. The common clinical term for personality splitting is false self-formation and dominance. It's dissociation. Research repeatedly suggests that such massively fragmented people survived extremely abuse and psycho-spiritual trauma as a young children. The great majority of us, probably including you, do not have anywhere close to this degree of personality fragmented, but we do have some. In this site, Ron Wood and Children, GWCs, is an adult whose personality is significantly ruled by a false self. According to someone before, Wounded re reduction, we usually unaware of self-dominance and its impact. Though we have a depth at spotting false self symptoms in other people. The bad news is being significantly controlled by a false self has powerful personal, marital, parental and social implications. In my experience, the high majority of troubled, divorcing and remarried Americans and others are GWCs in a major denial. The good news is once understood and admitted, false self-dominance and psychological wounds can be significantly reduced over time. True selves empowered via self-motivated personal recovery, self-improvement, lesson one in this site is devoted to assessing it for and reducing significant false self-dominance. See this unique lesson one guidebook. 
who's really running your life okay straight comparison there is a way a way to sense who's leading someone's personality like yours locally or chronically option use this as a worksheet to profile yourself or someone else common traits common true self behavioral traits okay alert awake aware generally up and light on mood usually realistic optimistic focused clear and centered compassion kind forgiving firm strong confident powerful calm serene peaceful usually has a wide angle long range focus accepts delayed gratification balances long and short term payoffs usually patient persist committed appreciate grateful glass half full empathic sensitive generally respectful spiritually open aware connected receptive growing consistently self nurturing without egotism generally honest open direct respectfully assertive socially engaged and active physically healthy balanced diet exercise work and rest gets preventive checkups spontaneously expressive of all emotions real time without major anxiety or guilt able to form genuine bonds with others able to judge who to distrust or trust with what realistically self responsible usually realistic about life and situations spontaneous able to exchange love Conf uh, comfortable receiving merited praise often able to forgive self love and others okay and then i will read the common for self behavioral traits okay i will go on no it's not finished so frequently maintain two person aware bubble seldom gives double messages able to grieve losses spontaneously spontaneously six self guided people and hard nurturing settings involving in living a clear life purpose work play and rest generally balanced so what i would suggest you make a list of everybody you meet and you check and you say no and if, if people it's very easy oh i'm so happy i found this out common false self behavioral traits fuzzy distracted confused numb often heavy down gloomy maniac usually pessimistic or idealistic confused vague and unable to stay focused blaming critical bigoted indecisive worried cautious doubtful upset scared angry guilty ashamed usually has a narrow short term focus usually seeks immediate gratification often impatient impulsive and uncommitted bitter jealous resentful glass half empty selfish arrogant disrespectful spiritually unaware skeptical closed scornful and or uninterested consistently self neglectful dishonest indirect sh sly controlling timid and apologetic or aggressive isolated or compulsively social physically unhealthy relies on prescribed drugs or self medication anxious guilty or blocked about feeling or expressing some of all emotions difficulty forming true or pseudo bonds difficulty discerning who to trust with what notably over or under responsible frequently distortions and denials difficulty giving and or receiving re real love uncomfortable receiving mer merited praise difficult forgiving self or others often focused only on her or himself or on a conversational partner one purpose and bubble often gives double messages difficulty grieving or one or three levels unconsciously prefers wounded people to lower nurturing settings unclear or indifferent to a life purpose work play and rest are often unbalanced pause breathe and notice your thoughts and feelings which column of traits do you identify with do you see each of your parents here yes your grandparents yes your partner a child a former lover a here a hero or heroin or mentor learn something about yourself with this anonymous one question point if you are skeptical about personality subsets read this letter to you and experience this safe interesting exercise option assess whether you and another adult or child are significantly ruled by a false self for options or pre on preventing psychological wounds in your family community church state or nation see this article after you finish here for more perspective read this research summary on bad habits and this real life new news examples of people unaware being controlled by a false self 
This lesson one, articles and non-profit website purpose that normal personalities like yours are composed of talented subsets and are controlled by a wise third self, capital S, or false selves. Observable behaviors indicate which of these is true, situationally and over time. From my 36 years of clinical research, that's Elizabeth that's from Peterborough, and observation that the article provides a brief background of this promise and describes common behavioral traits of a typical true self and false selves. People of, uh, often controlled by a false self are usually survivors of major tribal abandonment, neglect and abuse, trauma, who don't want to know about their resulting psychological wounds and what they usually need. Assessing whether another person is currently or regularly controlled by a false self can empower you to choose where to maintain a relationship with them and the best way to relate to them. Pause, breathe and reflect. Why did you read this article? Did you get what you needed? If not, what do you need? Who's answering these questions? Your true self or someone else? Would you answer the poll at the top of the article the same way now? Most likely not. Thank you very much for being here with me. Comment, like, subscribe. For donations, there is a PayPal button. And share your experiences down below. I would be very happy to read them. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.